Everyone has been talking about OpenEye's chat GPT, and for good reason, its ability to generate any requests. In human-like text, it is remarkable, and for many people, it's their first realization of what AI can be. And the implications that this technology will have for us in the next decade are exciting, but also frightening. Instead of thinking about what it's going to be like in a decade, I'm going to talk about what it's like today, and how we can take advantage of the opportunities in front of us right now. So I'm going to talk about 7 different business ideas that anyone can do with OpenAI. The cool thing to me about OpenAI and ChatGPT isn't just the text output itself, it's actually their new API, which is so powerful. If you don't know what an API is, it's called an Application Programming Interface, which allows developers to basically create applications that can access and make use of the information or data provided by the ChatGPT. In other words, anyone can simply implement Dolly or ChatGPT into their own software or apps and then just create their own front-end user interface. So a good example of this is actually the Lensa. Basically, Lensa is this app that has. It's gone very viral lately because they found a very specific use case for one of these AI APIs. So you guys may have seen it on Instagram. A lot of people are posting these animated versions of their faces and how they are doing that is through this app called Lensa. But what's interesting about Lensa is that it was simply using the Stable Diffusion AI engine, which is still essentially free to use for anyone. Lensa was charging $10 for these anime photos of people. So how it works is that people download the Lensa app from the App Store and upload 10 photos of themselves to the app. They would pay $10, and then they would receive 100 animated photos of themselves, all in different styles. So why are people paying $10 when they could go do this themselves on Stable Diffusion for free? Well, the answer, my friends, is convenience. In business, the way you make money is by creating value, and in exchange for that value, people give you money. A lot of times, value is created simply by streamlining information. So these AI engines are very broad, and a lot of people might not have the creativity or understanding to realize that they can make an avatar of their own face. So what Lensa did was create a new product called the Magic Avatar. Even though this engine can do literally anything, it can make you an ocean oasis in the style of Van Gogh. They chose to go with one specific use case, which is the magic avatar, a K animate yourself, and then on top of that, they made it convenient by making it available in the app store on your phone, which is likely where most of your photos already are. And for those two reasons, they are able to charge $10 even though the actual creation of the images was completely free. So, while most people are simply experimenting with technology in order to improve their day-to-day -day lives, this is where the real opportunity lies for us. A little easier, the smarter entrepreneurs are finding ways to plug in OpenEyes API into their own front-end software platforms. So in today's video, I'm going to give you 7 different business ideas that you can start either using OpenEyes API or even if you don't have the software development skills or understand how to use an API. I'm going to give a few business ideas that anybody can use just by using ChatGPT directly. So, the good news is that this is a brand new API that OpenAI has just released, which means the market is wide open and there are numerous opportunities for what we refer to as value arbitrage. Right now, ChatGPT is broad. There are a million different use cases, and our goal is to find a very specific use case to make our own websites front-end using the API, and then market that service to people who could benefit from it. People whose lives could be improved by talking with GPT. They just don't know about it yet. If there is one thing this channel is about, it's about identifying first mover advantage and capitalizing on them before the masses. And that's kind of how I even got to this point with this channel. In the first place, I caught onto the NFT trend very early, and I see a lot of similarities to the NFT trend back then to AI right now. All right, so the first business is in a very big industry, and that is called sales copy. So, copywriting is basically the words on any website or sales copy. If you're trying to sell a product, what is the description of your product on Amazon or in a Facebook ad where they have a description? That's called copywriting. And, more specifically, I believe the best opportunity is sales copywriting, because they make money when they get sales. And if you can help people make money, you're going to make money. But I have friends who are actually making over six figures a month using this website called Copy.ai. And how they do that is by simply creating high-quality sales copy much faster than most people. So what he's doing is using this platform called Copy.ai. When he gets a client, he just inputs the subject that it's about, and the style in which he wants the copy written. 
and it literally generates the sales copy for him. He then goes over it to ensure there are no errors and that it is correct before sending it to the client. And they had no idea that it was made by AI. And the crazy thing is, his clients love the copy that he's providing. And so now that he's able to use this tool, he's able to output like five times the amount of copy that he was able to previously and can now handle much more clients. He then hired a few of his friends who weren't that strong at copywriting, but he showed them how to use copy.ai and now he sends them clients. So he's able to do the work of a hundred copywriters with a team of less than 12. So a copywriting company is the perfect company to start if you're wanting to utilize chat GPT and then the company copy.ai is one you could start. If you wanted to use ChatGPT's API plugin in your own copywriting website and then sell it, you could do so. Service yourself. So that's just a very interesting one. And I really do think that these actual API businesses are the big opportunity. But at the same time, like I said, I'm going to give you both. So moving on to the next API-based business is going to be perplexity. What they do is basically describe any subject in about four sentences. So you can ask, what is the revolutionary war and what purpose will it serve? It search all the top articles on Google, fed every single article for you, and then give you the best answer summary out there. Which is really helpful because many of you might know that if you Google something, you typically go to multiple articles to pick and choose the right answer for you. Whereas perplexity is going to go through literally hundreds of articles and summarize any topic in four sentences. Simple but very useful. Moving on to the third, which I think is very clever and that many of you e-commerce drop shippers will enjoy. This is called Psychic.ai and it allows you to literally create any landing page in one minute. So if you're a drop shipper out there, you know the name of the game is testing different products and you're constantly needing to build different landing pages for these products to see if people are interested in the product in the first place. So all you have to do is type in the subject matter, maybe provide a few images and you can create a beautiful landing page with great sales copy and a great layout dot so much more quickly. Typically, it would take a few hours or even a day for someone to make a landing page to test a product. Now you can do it in a minute. And if you can save people that time and create that value by making a specific use case with this AI, you're going to make a lot of money. So moving on to the next business using ChatGPT. If you wanted to use ChatGPT, you could create an SEO agency. If you don't know what SEO is, that is search engine optimization, meaning where you rank on Google for specific keywords. So how do you stand out in SEO? Google determines this based on how knowledgeable you are about a specific topic or one search term. And so if you've talked about one search term, a lot of people will view you as an expert and rank you much higher. The other way is through backlinks. That is, how many times have other people referred to you as the expert when describing a specific situation or topic? So I'm going to focus on that first example, which is the depth. As a result, if you use ChatGPT, you could then use those articles to populate your website. Index them. Now, from Google's perspective, you have 50 articles about one topic, and you did that in one single day. So again, this is going to make you more efficient at your job and enable you to sell that service to other companies simply by using AI. Because you have the knowledge that they don't and you know these tools exist. This is called arbitrage. Alright, so the next business I want to talk about today is going to be the actual AI thumbnail creator service. This is going to be less common, and I don't see many people talking about it. So what this means is that if you're a thumbnail creator, you can simply use Dali or Stable Diffusion and start getting specific layers that are really high quality. And so you end up needing a 3D artist to make you a 3D spaceship hovering over Earth. So you can make a space video on YouTube. You just type that into Stable Diffusion and you get a very high quality image output from that search term. So you don't need to find the artist with these years and years of experience. You could just use Stable Diffusion to output those images or even specific layers. So maybe you have Photoshop skills. So you get a 3D spaceship, you get the Earth, you get the space backdrop, and you can just layer those together. So instead of needing all those skills, you just generate them through AI. And then you can make YouTube thumbnails of a very high caliber that you couldn't previously. And you can sell that to all the different YouTubers as a service. So that is a really cool opportunity. And it is something that Dolly by OpenAI would enable as well. All right. Moving on to the sixth business, this is going to be a lead generation business. So a lot of businesses are always looking for new leads for new people to sell their services to. And a lot of people out there pay big money for email lists or just people that they think are interested in their service. And so I actually searched in ChatGPT for it to send me the 20 emails of the top Web3 agency executives. And lo and behold, it literally gave me a list of 20 emails of the top Web3 agency executives. 
I have no idea how I found these emails, but the content looked accurate. And it's really exciting now. This might be something that is not completely accurate today, or you might be getting spam emails. But it's really interesting to see that I was able to source that many emails so quickly from very powerful people. And that is a big business in and of itself. I know a lot of people who run agencies where they buy email lists and then sell those emails to companies for $50 to $100 per lead because they think those people are interested in a specific service. So that is something that ChatGPT will enable and a business you can start very quickly. The last business that you could start using AI or chat for would actually be a newsletter. So very similar to copywriting, but you can create a weekly newsletter or daily newsletter. At this point, since there are so many around specific topics, if you can grow your subscriber base for this newsletter, you could input sponsors. Because you create high quality content, you can include advertisements. Thanks to the power of AI, this is very straightforward. Whether you want to work with companies to create newsletters for them or create your own newsletters and sell advertising space, AI is going to write very high quality content around that. The only problem with ChatGPT right now is that it's sourced to 2021. Anything after 2021 is not in its training, so you will be unable to write about future events. However, it would be useful for educational newsletters in which you teach people, or even for an email automation writing campaign. So that's going to do it for the 7 different businesses you could start by using ChatGPT. And Open Eyes API. I highly recommend thinking about creating an API-based business because, again, ChatGPT can do a million different things. And if you could pick one specific niche idea, build a website around it, target specific people who are interested in that niche idea, and then you can pull the ChatGPT API. Basically, if they search something in their specific niche, it will be popped up perfectly right there and they'll pay your business for that service too. So that's something that I think is really cool. I think it's really clever, and that's what I call value arbitrage. Not many people have figured this out. If you could be one of the first people to implement this technology to solve a specific problem for someone, they're going to pay you a lot of money for it. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, just hit the like button, and if you see the opportunity here and you're excited about it, just hit subscribe. I have a few more videos coming out on the topic, and this is just really exciting. I love thinking about how our world is going to be in the next 5 years, and hopefully I unlock that excitement in your brain. But other than that, guys, I hope you had a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one.